Hey guys, uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's watched the workspace video and I'm glad that you guys found it useful and I also want to say a huge thank you to people that put in the comments the alternative workspace uh, tiling manager. So there's other things like this on Windows that has its pros and cons and I just wanted to showcase why I haven't used it yet but I wanted to make this video so that you guys know about it so that in case you don't want to use workspace for whatever reason you guys can use the alternatives. So, um, going straight to it. So the first one is Como Rebi. Now, the reason I haven't used Como Rebi so far, and actually the reason why I haven't used the other tiny managers that I would like to talk about, is because right now for me, Workspace works and it's solved a problem for me. And once this problem is solved, until the problem happens again, I'm not, I don't wanna solve it. So if, if Workspace keeps crashing and doesn't do what I want it to do in a more very fast way, then yeah, I'll change it. But right now it doesn't. And um, one thing that I did investigate by doing some research was that one thing it does do better than Workspace already that I need is that if I go, if I press F11 here, it goes full screen. But actually I just wanted to like take off just the uh, usable space and Common Revy has that built in. Another thing I really do like about it is that it's very configurable with auto hockey as it's just cry command. So you just press auto hockey commands and you just output some behind the scene PowerShell commands essentially. So it's very configurable, provided you know auto hotkeys. And um, so, but it, and it looks very aesthetically pleasing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, again, I think I'm, I'm making this video just so you guys are aware of it and I'm just compiling this video so that people can use what they want to use instead of just choosing. So the pros and cons, the pros and cons is that first of all, I think it's aesthetically pleasing. It, it, I think there's a, uh, a bit more uh, time to get it configured exactly the way you want it. So the only way to get it working right now is you've got to follow this video, but essentially there's no exe file. Uh, it's just, you got to follow, you got to have scoop. I don't even have scoop download. I know most people who use Windows primarily probably does have a package manager, but I don't have a package manager, so I would prefer MSI, if I'd be honest. But anyway, um, that's the current big disadvantage for me where, you know, I just can't try it quickly without investing time or energy, and I don't want to spend the time and energy because workspace already works for me. Um, if you disagree with the statement, please let me know and I probably will make a video, but for now Workspace works for me. I've given you guys my configuration file. You can just copy and paste it just works, right? But it doesn't mean it's perfect for you and I have to just balance that thing where You can spend all your time trying to optimize your productivity But the reason why we're trying to make ourselves more productive is to get some work done So are you really procrastinating from the work or are you making your productive efficient? That just you know, just just uh, you know food for thought so um, just for the people that do want to make uh, comma uh, you know, um, install the comma revy thingy uh, is I'd like to just uh, tell you that the person who made it has made a beautiful quick start video that's only 12 minutes long and so it, I think it's definitely worth the time if you definitely want to get it working and I think it's a little bit more stable than workspace as well because workspace is officially I got Windows 10 here, but this is officially supported for Windows 11, whereas Workspace is not officially supported for Windows 11, and there's no long-term longevity. So therefore, Workspace is discontinued, so therefore it worked for this year, but it might not work for in two years' time. And in two years' time, if it crashes and doesn't work, I would then investigate, right? Um, another one is Glaze WM. Um, what I love about Glaze WM, at first it looks exactly the same, it's all configurable and all that kind of stuff, but the configuration file is, is for people that don't know how to code, or code less, and it's just a YAML file, and I do love the simplicity that it's just a YAML file. Um, I'm a big fan of simple things and being able to copy and paste a YAML file in. Um, I do believe this one has an MSI. I haven't downloaded it myself. You can build it from source, you can get Scoop and Winjet, and you can, is there a release for MSI? I think there was. Uh, I need to double check, but if I go on, let me just double check that too. Um, yeah, so they have an EXE. So yeah, they have an executable that you can run, you can install Glaze for 32 pills, so 64 pills, so great. So I think out of the two that I wanna try, just because this has an executable, I would try Glaze WM, and the fact that it's got a simple YAML configuration, I'll probably get it working. However, again, it's time and money to investigate if I want to, if I want to configure the YAML. And actually, this floating notepad thing is a feature that I don't need, but it's nice to have. Um, again, Workspace works for me. So, don't get me wrong, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to showcase that there's others out there instead of just Workspacer. 
but do what works for you. And if I be honest, program is very like for um, it's very low cost. You just uh, low cost provide your time and energy is okay. Yeah, just download it and get something. Get try the stuff. Try to get the stuff that you want to work make work work. And if it doesn't work, just close the program and uninstall it. Easy. I like my workspace. I spent. I've got some cost fallacy to it. I'm not gonna lie. And right now, I rather do my real business work, whatever that is, compared to optimizing my productivity with my talent manager, which I've already solved. So I uh, hope that was useful. The two the two repos will be down below in the description, so you guys can download it if you want to try it. And I'll also put workspace as well. Cool. Good luck and have fun, guys. See you in a bit.